Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a commercial Hashizaki Ice Maker. Thank you to everyone tuning to Jumper Man Tech. As far as the service call we have two issues. The first one being that there's a bunch of water on the floor because every time they open this or even on its own so much ice packs up in this bin that it starts pushing out getting all over the floor it says right here staff please be mindful of the danger of ice on the floor and clean after you finish taking the products ice bucket should never should never on the floor should never be on the floor since it is not since <laughs> anyways it's a violation for the department of health so right off the bat this is the plate that goes on here. They have reinstalled this. The issue is that it keeps falling out. So instead of just hooking it on, we gotta like support it with some screws or something. So that's that. And then the issue is for this second circuit, these are two condensing units here. So it's basically two units sharing one bin. This one went off on alarm. That's what I was told. The issue is they shut it down. So we're not exactly sure what the alarm is. Let's go ahead and open up these covers and get this started. All right, let's get this to the ceiling. that oh that's nice <laughs> you guys can see that but look who doesn't like bugs in their ice all right all right so we have two condensing units one two nothing is running this one i can see the switch is in the off position right here and this one is not running as you can see right there's a little like bin stat and it's filled up with ice you can see the slant so that one is just satisfied we reached all the way to the top as far as this one of course it's off and yeah let's mop all this up i don't even want you to open this because everything's spilling we need that deflector piece hopefully if we start the machine we're gonna read the error code if not we're gonna have to go through a cycle and this is very time consuming working on ice machines are very tricky and extremely tedious we're gonna have to empty this entire bin. It's gonna take a lot of time. For now, we're gonna mop up the floors and do what we can. What I wanna do is start this up. Here's the control panel. Let's put the system on ice, which is to the left. Hopefully we read some sort of alarm. Perfect. You hear the three beeps? Turn the off position just so we can not get insane. All right, so type of alarm, three beeps. It says freeze timer. Freeze timer setting for two cycles in a row. What's that? It goes, it goes into a freeze cycle two times in a row and probably doesn't drop ice. So good thing I didn't reset that code because we would have been here for quite a while. It says check for F s stuck close in the up position fs that's a float switch and it says wv leaking by water valve leaking by hgv leaking by hot gas valve pm not pumping pump motor txv not feeding properly llv liquid liquid line valve not opening uh, supply the solenoid you know, just let the hot gas so it melts probably. Low charge, all right, low refrigerant charge. HM, not bypassing. HM, not sure what HM is. There's right here, HM, headmaster. Okay, headmaster control or inefficient compressor. Basically, anything could be wrong here. <laughs> That's so many things, like how helpful is that? Yeah, basically check everything, it ain't working. So let's, uh, Let's take a look at a few things. So let's put it in ice mode. Alarm's gonna come up. It's alarm reset on this board, top left of the board. Let's click that. Top left of the board. All right, right away, I hear water passing through here. I heard the solenoid valve open. Okay. 
could have some sort of water flow issue. Look, I see right here, a little bit of water is coming down. I wonder if we're just losing water. So, it goes through a fill cycle. It has to fill up the tank first. You see that drip? So if this thing runs for like half an hour and just constantly losing that drip or losing water, it's not gonna make ice. I wanna see what's going on naturally before I do anything. This thing is almost full. Let's keep an eye out. It usually goes through a 60 second fill cycle and then starts up. Okay, this compressor just started. I'm gonna turn it off. So we got our fill cycle here. This thing is honestly very full. Let's just see the symptoms. So it starts off with a one minute fill cycle, then it goes into harvest, then it has a harvest pump timer, then it has the freeze cycle, then it says anti-slush control, and then the pump out cycle. Solenoid is good. Water's passing through. Watch that pump. Pump started, look at the flow. So pump works. Harvest cycle, one, four, and two LEDs. Let's see what we have. I see LED one is on. And what is that, LED one? LED one should be just free cycle. Compressor's not running. Maybe this thing's just not making ice at all. Cause the compressor, they said it could be inefficient compressor. Maybe we got a bad control. All right, so we have to pay attention to this board and the lights. So you can see only this light is on. There's one, two, three, four LEDs. Only LED number one is on. The second one, it's weird how they have this. So the second one is actually says LED four, then LED three, then LED two. So right now we only have LED one. I don't know what these lights are on for, but it's those four you need to pay attention to. And it says here that for number one, it says that we're in the free cycle. Compressor should be on, the pump motor. This compressor is cold. Ain't nothing happening here. All right, so as far as the board, the light is on. So it's, I'm assuming the board is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, we're gonna have to do some checks. But right off the bat, what is this? This wire is disconnected. Where does that go? Is there any label on this? Like, is there a number on the wire? How am I supposed to know what that is? But well, we got a thick brown wire. Let's see where that's coming from. All right, so. We do have a diagram here, but what's crazy is that there's more wires disconnected. What's this? That's disconnected. Whoa, this is disconnected. And I see two wires over there also disconnected. The compressor is disconnected, look right here. Well, that's why it's not running. But what happened? Why would somebody do this? I have no idea why they would do such a thing. Let's turn this off. So right now the issue is that the compressor is not starting. And well, we have an idea why. It's freaking disconnected. Like the things people do, man. Like, yeah, let's disconnect everything and maybe it'll work then. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, so let's start by turning off the power. Look at this box. I turned the, I turned the switches off, but look at this. But whoever was here definitely knew what they were doing. <laughs> so got all these disconnected wires man like oh man these this things like this make it extremely difficult because it's not a natural failure here it's some more on those here <laughs> another thing is this is my place this is my account all right why is there anybody else even touching this i feel like the people who work at the building why would they just disconnect things i feel like they'll be like, listen i don't know what's going on they see this huge mess they'll be like all right listen gotta call a professional so who was here? You know, I don't like I don't like the looks of this, but you know what it is? At the end of the day, they know who's the man around here, and that's JMT because 
clearly other people they don't know what they're doing they still gotta call me in the end no matter what you gotta do you still gotta call me so let's see what's going on and let's embarrass these guys one two three four five wires disconnect let's start with what Start at one place so we got three wires coming from that harness back here and that is going to be the compressor right this right here this little harness you can't that's the compressor wires so we have let's see a black red and gray the black wire is connected right here that's a potential relay that's the starting component for this compressor here's the compressor I try to figure out where this stuff goes. Let's start with those two wires. I'm gonna dump this ice right now. The cover goes right here, so it's for us to hook it up. Man, all this ice gotta go. This is a lot of ice. Sheesh. All right, so this is tricky, and something didn't make sense to me, but you know what? There's an identical unit right here. And what I just found out is absolutely amazing. There's missing controls in here and it's disconnected. Look, I'm like, wait, where's the start cap and the run cap? There's a black capacitor there and a silver capacitor there. There's missing controls. They literally ripped it out and disconnected everything. So what I'm gonna do is use this as reference as far as wiring, but we got missing controls here. We don't have a start and run cap. See if you guys can see that a little better. You see the black control there and then the silver one? Unbelievable. It's literally missing. First things first, we need parts. We can't even wire this, we can't test anything. I guess I could check to see if I can do like a resistance test or, or check out, take out my mega meter to check this compressor, but there's no controls here. You're gonna need that regardless. So what I wanna do is gonna go to the supply house match up these ratings and see <laughs> what we can do this is unbelievable seriously all right so i picked up a start and run capacitor we have the diagram here we have all our stuff here and we also have this for reference while we're dumping all the ice let's go ahead and wire this one by one all right i got the controls in there a little hard to see but i got everything wired I use the wiring diagram and then use this as reference. It's just crazy that they would do such a thing. All right, so before I start anything, I just want to do a quick test. Let's check resistance. Got the meter set to resistance. This meter specifically reads resistance in ohms and also at the same time checks continuity. So got the beep. There's one lead. Thing is the compressor wires are like facing that way. So I can't really get to it. So I'm going to check with the wires coming out let's check between terminals let's see if we have continuity right there okay we got continuity there you guys heard the beep let's see what the resistance is 1.1 1 .1 ohm okay then we're gonna check between the next two We almost got 3.5 and then between these two this is a single phase compressor so they're not all going to add up two point six so the way you check that one so the two point six plus the one point five should read add up to the highest number looks okay let's go ahead and let's put these wires back let's see exactly what happens let's see if this thing starts it's super tight in here all right let's see what happens. let's see if this thing blows up and if it does oh well it is what it is Shouldn't let other people touch this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so resistance seems... Okay, let's check that to ground. Got 
got nothing on that one. Let's see. Let's check this one to ground. Really don't want to go to the casing of the motor. But that's good. We don't want continuity. Next one. Okay. All right. I got everything wired except there's actually a jumper between the start and run cap. So we're gonna have to get that. Wow. I'm gonna take it out from here for the meantime. So I don't have to run and go make one, but there's a jumper that goes between the two. So let's go ahead and transfer it into here just to run this test. All right, everything's connected. Let's see what happens. All right, so we have LED number four on. Get the water passing through. So right there, LED number four. It's the one minute fill cycle. So energized components is the WV, the water valve, which is energized, the solenoid. So it's allowing, allowing water to pass. And then let's see when the next thing happens. The next sequence is gonna be LED number one comes on. Well, let's see if that compressor starts. So according to the lights, we should be in cooling. I want to make sure this compressor is actually getting voltage. Let's see if it's passing through. We have a compressor relay and we also have our potential relay. So here is the compressor relay and then the white one is potential relay. So power for, for the first compressor relay, power comes in through six and comes out number four and goes to the red wire. So if we got 120 volts on this red wire right now. It's giving power. All right, we got 120. And across, it's it should be zero. All right, zero volts. Okay, that means the switch is closed. We already know that the coil is energized. Next, for the starting relay, we need to see if... Point two or five has anything. That's five. Area has the 120. Two. 120. So I guess across these two, we should have 208. Zero. I mean, I'm assuming power is on because you know all this stuff starts and the pump motor starts and everything. So I'm assuming there's power, but according to this, it's telling me that like we're checking the same line. Like here's the pump. Look, we got power, right? Got lights and everything. Got the LEDs, so you know the transformer is good and all that stuff. It's strange. I noticed the switch is out, so let's see. Coming from the wall is red and black. Should have 208 across. Right, you got 208. And across here, going to the unit. Zero. From one line to ground. 120. And this one should also be 120.
but across is zero. So it's telling me it's the same wire. This switch is bad. Hold on a second, wait. From here to here. Cool, wait. And then nothing. This is some strange voltage. This switch gotta be bad, man. This thing's gotta be bad. Put a magnet through there. We should have one, we should have 208 now. We had 60 volts. Look, we got 208. Hold on. 208 coming in, and now I jumped it on, I jumped that one side, and we got 208 coming out now. Yo, don't tell me, man, it was that freaking switch. And they, out, they came here and freaking ripped everything apart. See what happens. All right, fill cycle. Wow, do you guys hear that? That's the compressor. Got a bad switch, man. They out here ripping out capacitors and and everything, man. That is unbelievable. <laughs> wow. All right, that was it. Oh, it's getting hot, so this is a hot gas defrost at first. It's trying to melt the ice that's that could have been done previously. That's insane. We need to change that switch. All right, I found the breaker. Let's just double check to confirm. Zero volts. I got a new two pole switch. Let's go ahead and swap this out. switch taped it up let's go ahead and close this up and turn the unit on that's it guys you can hear the compressor running that's a beautiful thing let's go ahead and give this thing some time we're gonna go to lunch and let's see if we drop ice all right guys we totally dropped ice everything's good we turn this one back on switches and everything and right now we just got to put this cover on over here and try to secure it properly all right so here's this piece it's just like you guys can see these little holes right here it just like hooks on just hooks on right here and somehow we got to make sure this thing doesn't fall out because this thing was clipped on before but then it just comes right out Just gonna drill a few screws through here and make sure that this is everything is good the reason everything was falling through is because this wasn't here so all this weight was just pushing out but we're gonna wrap this one up here as my memory card is about to finish and if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week i'll catch you all next time